Hey everyone and welcome back to The Hack Car. Um, I was in the road slayer the other day and I had to update the sat nav um, and that involved a lot of typing and I thought cars these days have USB plugs, I'll try and plug in a keyboard and see what happens. And then I started thinking, what if I plug a mouse into the keyboard, will that also work? Um, and that got me to thinking, what other USB things can I stick into this car? Where are you going with this Al? Well, as much as I love the road slayer, there's one thing I don't like, and that's the digital volume control. Basically you've got to push these tiny little buttons up and down when something great comes on. I mean, how are you meant to turn something up to 11 if you can't even turn anything? I mean, what happened to real knobs? <laughs> I like real knobs. So I got hold of this USB PC uh, it's like a volume controller, but you can program it to do other things, you, you know, if you wanted to use a dial for something in a particular program. Um, but I thought I'd plug this in and give it a go and see if it works. How do you know that? Uh, so yeah, I, I now have to try and find the one in the... So, there we go. I could just call it a day, whack the knob on there, and I've got instant analogue, well, to an extent, uh, tactile volume control with a proper knob. Um, but I thought I'd have a bit more fun with it. I love that noise. Right, it's enough of that. Ugh. Woo! Ugh. Ugh. So we have our rotary USB kind of dial thing. And although it works great, you know, in this plane, um, what I really want is for the pivot to be perpendicular so it acts more like a, an, an airplane throttle or something like that. So let's take it apart and then see how the mechanism works and then see if we can adapt it. So we've essentially got this potentiometer mounted on a pretty simple circuit board, that's all that was in there. Um, and we just need to think of a way to mount this and apply some sort of handle that can uh, rotate in that direction. Mm. Once it hits your lips. Ah. So we've got this galvanised hollow pipe, we've got uh, numerous old golf clubs we can use, we've got this solid aluminium bar, now I'd quite like this to be the handle, um, it seems to have a decent uh, sort of radius to it, but it's way too heavy as it is and I can't use that for the um, the arm as well because it's just going to be too heavy for, 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 for this to turn. So I think a combination of these two, I think that's too spindly, uh, but I think this actually could be quite a nice nice combination. So I need to attach this to this in some sort of lever fashion. Um, I'll probably drill that, but I need something to screw into here. So if I can get a nut into there and maybe weld that, 
but this just needs um, cleaning off because it's galvanised. Right, so we've got our lever, um, we've got our potentiometer, and then we need to find some way that we can connect them up um, so that it can rotate. But obviously this isn't strong enough to hold the weight of this, so we need some sort of bracket on the other side as well that we can attach to. to just remove some of the meat on that bar at the front in order for it to pivot. Luckily the centre console has this removable little rubber mat that will work as a perfect template. I find hot glue is great to hold stuff in place while you secure it properly. Now the mechanism sorted, I need to make some paper templates in order to wrap it in leather. There's quite a bit of trial and error with this process and I've never done it before but I really enjoyed it. I'll be removing that bolt head at the top when I actually wrap it in leather, but I'm just leaving it in place for now. So before we get any further, we're starting to wrap the leather, I just need to take the top of this bolt off. Um, I'm hoping that the square bit is seated enough inside the aluminium bar that um, it'll hold it and stop it from turning. Note to self, don't bother polishing anything if you're just going to ram it back in a vise and scratch it up again. Now this filler is nothing pretty, it's just so that I don't have any divots when I wrap the leather around.
So that's the volume lever finished, I just need to make a cover that goes over the centre console. So we've got this little panel, um, hopefully it'll still fit through there and I've got enough leather left from the scraps. Uh, hopefully to wrap this. I like that when you like break them in. It just, yeah. It just, it just increases. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome, nope. welcome to maybe.